No other planet is currently being explored as intensively as Mars. You can probably already guess why. Ever since U.S. entrepreneur Elon Musk entered the space business, Mars exploration and colonization has been a ubiquitous topic. But there's another reason we humans want to know more about the red planet. Our immediate neighboring planets can provide us with valuable clues about the fate of our own home, Earth. Since the early 2000s, NASA alone has sent 10 probes to Mars. In addition, there are numerous other probes from the European Space Agency, the Japanese, and the Russians. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has been in operation for about 15 years, and in this video, we'll show you what it has found on Mars. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and get ready for more fascinating videos in the future. The Mars Reconnaissance Mission The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, abbreviated MRO, is the 27th probe humans have sent to Mars. MRO is a NASA project. Data from it is available to participating scientists from around the world. Orbiter was launched on August 12, 2005, at the tip of an Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Mars was very close to the Earth at the time, so the MRO spacecraft successfully entered Mars's orbit just a few months later, on March 10, 2006. Since then, MRO has been continuously transmitting data to Earth. For communication, MRO has a directional antenna with a diameter of about 10 feet. This can achieve transmission rates of up to 6 megabits per second. MRO's main mission was completed a while ago, in 2010. NASA is currently continuing to operate the spacecraft as long as it continues to function and provide profitable data. For power supply, the orbiter is equipped with two long-lasting solar sails, each about 15 feet long. Things are happening all around Mars. In orbit around Mars, MRO was not alone upon arrival. With the Mars Global Surveyor, the Mars Odyssey, and the Mars Express, three other probes were already circling Mars. They were joined by the Mars robots Phoenix, Curiosity, and Insight, which were collecting data on the planet's surface. This is an absolute record in space history. No other planet is currently as busy as Mars. But back to NASA's reconnaissance project. The main goals of the MRO mission are mapping the Martian surface, searching for fossil traces, and searching for water and ice. Preparations for first humans on Mars We humans continue to be interested in whether life could have once existed on Mars, or could exist in the future. People have been thinking about manned flights and a space station on Mars since long before Elon Musk founded his space company. NASA drew up initial plans for this as early as the 1990s. But to implement these plans, we need more information about Mars. Space travelers or later settlers would be left to their own devices so far from Earth. Supply flights would take years. A spaceship with people and cargo weighing tons would need much longer to fly to Mars than a comparatively small and light probe. Without any water at all on site, the survival of the Martian settlers would be in constant jeopardy. While a certain amount of water could be sent to Mars from Earth, this would be expensive and time-consuming. Settlers would have to constantly purify and reuse the water via reprocessing systems. If there were problems with the technology, the people of Mars would quickly be lost. The best camera in space. To unlock Mars's secrets, the MRO has a particularly fine resolution camera on board. At three feet per pixel, the High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment camera, or HiRISE, far surpasses its predecessors. The images can be magnified on Earth as high resolution, and optionally even real colors. This is necessary for identifying structures more reliably. 
Since Martian rocks and the surface look somewhat different from what we see on Earth, even experts cannot always clearly identify and distinguish ice, rock, water, or other structures. The MRO mission should finally change that and provide new, unique insights. We now present the most exciting discoveries. A safe landing site for the Curiosity rover? As one of the first missions, MRO searched for suitable landing sites for its brother, the Curiosity rover. At that time, 12 possible landing sites were still under discussion for the land probe and exploration station. MRO first investigated the Neely Fosse Trough for this purpose. Images provided evidence that water may have once existed there. Clay minerals and carbonates could be traces of a former river landscape. Whether pure water still lurks in the depths of Mars is one of the big questions of its exploration. As you probably know, Mars is a nearly dust-dry desert planet on the surface. But researchers have calculated that many millions of years ago, Mars was a warm water world with an atmosphere and perhaps even living things. So it's quite possible that this water has only disappeared into the subsurface. Mars is gone. For millions of years, the surface of Mars has been shaped by aridity and storms. Regular sandstorms sometimes completely envelop the planet. Wind speeds averaging 62 miles per hour are actually harmless, but that a sandstorm is so large that it causes an entire planet to disappear is unusual. MRO was able to image this very phenomenon with unprecedented clarity. An image taken on May 28, 2018, shows the red planet in its normal guise, and barely a month later, on July 1st, it was completely enveloped in sand. Huge avalanches in the Martian spring. On February 19, 2008, the MRO photographed a sensation when actually, researchers' eyes were on the northern polar caps of Mars. Warm water is suspected under the miles-thick ice layers. Suddenly, the orbiter's fine sensors registered a huge upheaval of soil material. Nearby, four avalanches had thundered down from a rock face almost 2,300 feet high. The whirling dust cloud reached a height of about 620 feet. In the area of the downfall, the layers of soil lie loosely on top of each other. In the Martian spring, when the poles warm up, carbon dioxide ice evaporates on the deep ice layer. The steam can trigger massive avalanches like this one. Spider Patterns on Mars The escaping carbon dioxide vapors are also responsible for this unique spider pattern. MRO first captured the spider structures in beautiful, clear images on February 4, 2009. The craters and lines created as the vapors escape are indeed reminiscent of giant tarantulas or many tiny spider legs. The transition of frozen carbon dioxide ice into gas, also known as sublimation, shapes large parts of the Martian surface. A dust devil, thousands of feet high. Another highlight captured by the high-rise camera was this dust devil. The long, narrow whirlwind curls over the ground like a giant worm. The image was taken on February 16, 2019, from about 185 miles away. Surveys showed that the dust devil must have been at least 2,625 feet high. That's roughly the height of the world's current tallest building, the Burj Khalifa skyscraper in Dubai. The ESA Beagle Lander 2003 was a gloomy year for European spaceflight. The Mars Express and Beagle joint project sent an orbiter and a lander to Mars. The orbiter was able to begin its service as planned. The Beagle 2 lander probe, on the other hand, failed shortly after arriving on the surface of Mars. There was great disappointment at ESA and around the world. MRO found Beagle 2 on the surface of Mars some 11 years after its crash landing. The high-resolution images showed that the robot had partially deployed its solar arrays before the technology failed. A viable water supply for future settlers? 
Things got exciting when deposits of water were finally discovered in January 2018. With the help of MRO, Mars explorers were able to discover huge, freely accessible veins of ice right on the surface. Normally hidden at depth, ice veins come to light at break-off edges and similar geological features. So far, MRO has discovered a total of eight freely accessible ice veins. For future Mars space travelers, these could be the crucial water supply. Even fuel might be obtained from the material. Scientists were particularly fascinated by the composition and structure of the ice, which indicates that this water once fell to the Martian soil as snow. This discovery supports the theory of Mars as a water planet with a temperate climate and seasons. This is by no means, however, the end of possible new discoveries on Mars. Three land probes are currently exploring mile after mile. The orbiters in space continue to search for phenomena and unique features. In February 2021, the fifth Mars robot and a first NASA helicopter are scheduled to land on Mars. A collaborative international project plans to transport soil samples back to the Earth. That would be an unprecedented sensation. So the excitement surrounding Mars continues. We'll keep you up to date, of course. Let us know how you like the discoveries of the Reconnaissance Orbiter and tell us what your vision of future Mars exploration looks like. Would you volunteer to be a Mars settler? Write us your ideas and opinions in the comments.